what if you could allow your users to save their responses on your form and come back to finish it later? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the Save and Continue Features landing page at JotForm.com. Now, make sure if you have any questions to come check out this page, but of course, we're gonna cover everything here. So let's go ahead and jump over into my form. Now, as you can see, I have one that is pre-built. We have their name, email, and we want them to submit a picture of their driver's license. So let's go ahead and get the save and continue set up. So in the very top, we're gonna choose the settings option. And from here, from form settings, we're gonna choose the show more options button. Then we're going to scroll down to save and continue later. As of right now, it is disabled. So we're gonna to choose to enable it. And from here, we can customize the email that is sent. So let's go ahead and choose that. And we can see it, we can edit what this email subject looks like. We can edit what the whole email basically looks like. And if you would like to send this email from one of your saved email addresses, you can do that as well. But for now, I think we're good to go. So we can go ahead and save our changes. And if we head back over to build, we can see now there is a save button. So I'm gonna go to the top right hand corner. Let's go ahead and preview our form. And let's go ahead and just fill out the name for right now. And let's say, you know what? I completely forgot to grab that ID. I don't have a picture of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the save option. Now, because we are logged into JotForm as of right now, it's gonna automatically email us that link. Now from here, we can also get the draft link and we can send it through text, through email, however that looks for you. But what happens if you're not logged in or you don't have a JotForm account? So let's go ahead and X out of this. Let's jump out of our preview mode. I'm gonna head over to publish. I'm gonna copy this link and I'm gonna open an incognito window. All right, let's paste that in, perfect. And so now let's go ahead and fill out that name again. And again, I forgot my driver's license. I don't have anything to upload, so let's go ahead and save. And we can see that that looks a little bit different. We can sign up with Google, we can sign up with Facebook, or we can sign up with email. Or if we have a JotForm account, we can choose to log in, or we can skip this all together. So we can skip creating an account and we can get that draft link here, or we can add our email address in and send us that email. So let's go ahead and get that draft link. We'll exit out of here. Let's start a new window. We'll paste that in. And we can see that it went ahead and pre-filled the name information for us. And it really is as simple as that. Now, if you have any questions about how to use save and continue, make sure you utilize that features landing page I was on in the beginning. But of course, as always, you can always leave us comments down below this video. Now, if you like this video and you got some value, definitely hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.